friends and church family. Today, I want us to do somewhat of a faith audit. And we're gonna do that by asking this question. Where in my life do I truly believe Jesus will leave me short? Where in my life do I believe he's gonna leave me hanging and I'm gonna have to make up the difference? I need to shore up my bets on Jesus. We see this in the Gospel of Mark, chapter nine, where Jesus approaches his disciples and there's somewhat of a kerfuffle going on with the disciples and scribes and the crowd and Jesus asks, what's going on? And a man comes out of the crowd and says, Jesus, I brought my son who is demon possessed to your disciples. He grinds his teeth and he falls on the ground, starts foaming at the mouth and he's mute. Uh, and your disciples were unable to help him. Jesus, visibly upset, even says, how long do I have to be with this faithless generation? And Jesus asks the man to bring his son to him. And, and right in front of Jesus, his son has another episode, falls on the ground, starts convulsing. And Jesus asks the man, how long has this been going on? And the man responds, it's been going on his entire life. And the demon has tried to have him throw himself into fire and water, attempting to harm himself. And then the man says something that I think we all can relate to in some way. He says, and Jesus, if you can, have compassion and help us. Jesus quickly responds. We see this in verse 23 where Jesus says, if you can, all things are possible for those who believe. And the father responds in a in a beautiful way where he says, I believe, help my unbelief. I believe, help my unbelief. And you see, I, I think of faith in our life as, as like a pie chart. And we have everything in our life in this pie chart. And everything that we have faith, that we've given over to Christ is covered by faith. But we, asking that question, where do we believe Jesus will come up short in our lives? We are we are looking at that slice. We are looking for those slice or slices where we haven't covered with faith. I, I can think um, about, do I have enough faith to get on my knees and submit to Christ every day? Do I have the faith? Do I believe that God's word is enough for me to know it, to digest it, for it to be the foundation of my life and thinking. One of the biggest areas I see in many Christians is their faith in evangelism and in, in sharing their faith. They almost believe that, that some of their friends and family are too headstrong for Jesus to ever change them. And so today, when we ask the question, where in my life do I believe Jesus will come up short? Have our prayer be, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Go in his grace.